Hello and welcome inside the Coyote Corner video blog alongside Jay Elson. I'm Alex Hunter talking some USD football. And Jay, for the Coyotes, coming off the bye week, they go to Carbondale, a tough 41-10 loss mm -hmm. to a ranked Southern Illinois team for USD. And for Joe Glenn and the crew, a, a tough way to start your conference schedule. Yeah. How does this team get over a loss like that? Well, I think the way you recover from a, from a game, a, a half, like mm -hmm. what we saw in the second half in Carbondale, I think you just forget it. Pretend yeah. like it didn't happen. I think that's about the best way to go about it because uh, it was such a drastic change from one half to the next mm -hmm. that uh, there's not a whole lot to learn from except for maybe how to become stronger on the mental side of things. If that, sure. you know, Maybe things got into their head a little bit and, that, and you started to see that snowball start forming early in the third quarter in Carbondale uh, and it just got out of control quick and uh, they couldn't stop them. They couldn't get anything together on offense. They had a uh, special teams miscue, which, uh, which hurt them, uh, led to one of the scores. So, um, you, you know, certainly you want to learn how to handle things, handle adversity a little bit better than right. that maybe would be one of the biggest keys to take away from it. Uh, but there's no room in this league to dwell on things because mm -hmm. the next opponent is going to be just about as good. Yeah if not better, which is the case this week with Northern Iowa. Yeah, it's a very good UNI team. Even though they're 2-3 and three on the season, they've lost to a couple of FBS schools, mm -hmm. and, and they're coming in uh, fired up after yeah. a tough loss, a last-second loss to them, 20-19 to 19 against Indiana State. One of the big things, though, before we get into UNI, is this USD team gets their quarterback back yeah. in Kevin Earl. How massive is that for this offense oh, moving forward? It goes without saying. It's, it's a huge deal. And first, let's stop. Just pause for a second. And give some credit to Ryan Sag for the job yeah. that he did. Mm -hmm. Two and two in the four games as starter, yeah. um, and he did some good things. Yeah. He did some things that that showed why he's he's the backup and why he's you know why Kevin Earl is is the starting quarterback of this team. But uh, a lot of that just comes down to and Joe Joe Glenn said as much after the game. It's just he's just not as experienced, right. and so this was his first game experience since high school. And so coming in here and learning on the fly, uh, he showed that he can be a very effective guy mm -hmm. with his feet. Um, he showed he can throw the ball uh, a little bit. Uh, but he also showed that he can improve in that part of his sure. game as well. So credit to Ryan Sager for doing a good job getting this team through uh, the injury to Kevin Earl. But as far as Kevin is concerned, very big news for him mm -hmm. personally. Obviously, uh, this is a competitor, a guy that was yeah. just dying to get back out on mm -hmm. the field. He finally got that green light last Thursday, and, and we, we were able to talk to him uh, in Carbondale. And if you want to catch that interview, by the way, you can go to uh, midcosn.com. Uh, we got a chance to talk to him at the hotel uh, prior to the game uh, in Carbondale, so check that out uh, if you're interested. But uh, you know, it's the only thing that's a, a little bit uncertain this po at this point about his return uh, because he is going to start on Saturday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the only question mark is how effective is he going to be? How much rust sure. is there going to be? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's I think it's fair to expect some, right? Um, because he's going to have to get yeah. back up to speed, both uh, you know, on the mental side of things and physically mm -hmm. um but you know as joe glenn said uh he's healthy he's healthy he's ready yeah. to go he expects his quarterback to play like a healthy kevin mm -hmm. earl would play uh and so that alone uh if that holds true would be exciting earl seeing his first action on october 11th again since august 30th so really almost exactly six weeks mm -hmm. that was the initial prognosis and that's when he's coming back uh, mm -hmm. for this uni team like we said two and three on the season Kind of a, a, one of the teams that people expected to be in the race. They were picked third in the preseason polls in the Missouri Valley. Now USD gets them coming off a loss. What can we expect from that Panther team this weekend? Oh, they're going to be ornery. Um, you know, given given the way they lost last week yeah. to Indiana State. Mm -hmm. um, and the Sycamores are far and away better than anybody expected them to mm -hmm. be. Uh, so it's not, you look at it and maybe the preseason poll, are like, well, they lost to the team that was picked last in the league. Sure, yeah. Not, doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. This team has, has proven that they can play a little bit here in the early part of the season. Mm -hmm. uh, but ordinary because of that, and don't think for a second that they've forgotten what happened to them in Cedar Falls right. last mm -hmm. year with USD. <laughs> so uh, they're going to be looking to come in here and proving a point, proving mm -hmm. that they deserve to be picked third in the best conference mm -hmm. in FCS football. Uh, and they're going to be just looking to get themselves back on track. Right. And so uh, USD is going to have its hand full, hands full, and, and they need – that opening 30 minutes that, that we saw against both Northern Arizona and Southern Illinois, mm -hmm. and they need to not do anything similar to what they've done in the last couple second halves yeah. uh, against Northern Arizona and Southern Illinois, mm -hmm. particularly the third quarter against the Lumberjacks. But um, it's going to take a, a very good effort, a 60-minute effort, mm -hmm. uh, to get the win here. And, uh, you know, D-Day's homecoming buzz, uh, it's yeah. going to be an exciting environment. Um, and... Uh, 
you, you could be sure the, these guys are fired up, ready to go, ready to prove that last week uh, was a bit of an aberration. Yeah, big one for the Oats again, trying to come off that loss. Mm -hmm. Again, a homecoming game, 3 o'clock kick here from the Dakota Dome. Jay will be tweeting live, Absolutely. as always, Elson Minko SN. Again, follow him for great updates throughout that contest. A big game is both of these teams, 2 and 3, need a little boost mm -hmm. for, their confident, for their confidence in the conference. Wait, for another Coyote Corner video block, he's Jay. I'm Alex. Thanks for watching.